All right, this uh, little video is going to be about image mapping. It's a little more complicated than the previous video, so uh, you may watch it once, twice, or three times. Image mapping is taking a, an image, basically a JPEG, a GIF, and taking it so that when you put it on your website, if you click on one section, it'll open up a website. If you click on another section, it'll open something else up. If you click somewhere else, it'll open that up. So it's an image, one image, that behaves differently depending on where you click. I, you've seen them before, I'm sure you have. So, here's how you do it. Uh, if you don't use Dreamweaver, we're going to use Composer, and Composer doesn't have it built in so that you can uh, create your own image maps. Uh, and it's no big deal nowadays because we can uh, find a site that'll let us do it. And here's how we're going to do it. I found a map of New Brunswick, and since we were talking about cities here, I'm going to set it up so that by clicking on the city, it'll open up the website for that city. But it's one map, one image. So, Here's how it works. I've saved the file as nb.gif on my in my images folder, you know, where I'm building the website file-wise. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a website here, and the name of the website is going to be image-maps.com. There are a number of them out there that'll do the same thing, but you may as well try this one. What you do is you send them, or you know, you upload your file that you want, your your picture that you want to have image mapped. So I'm going to send up this one here. It's a map. You'll see it in a second, and you start mapping your image. Now, because I'm not, you know, paying for this, it takes a few seconds for it to actually uh, to actually let me work with it. So right here, I'm going to click on Continue to Next Step. And so this is what I'm going to do, and you get the idea. If I'm going to click on Edmonston, it'll go to Edmonston, Bathurst, it'll go to Bathurst. But I'm going to do that with the image once it's on my website. So there are a couple ways to do this. I'm going to click on Rectangle. I'm going to set it up so that when the user click, you know, hovers around here, they'll know that they can click on it, and Edmonston will come up. Of course, you need to check your your links to begin with to see that they work. I could test it, it would open it up in another window, but I'm not, just to save time. I save it. I probably wouldn't bother with the custom shapes. I think we'd be okay with uh, I think we'll be okay with um, Oops. I'll delete. I'll reset. Okay, let's try that again. I'll just do it with red here. So one, two, three, four. So that should work like this by clicking around here. And if I save that, I guess I didn't do it right. I forgot to change the uh, bathers.ca. I'll do it again. So I'll go bathers like this, there, 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 and I should be good. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go back to rectangle. I'll do one for, let's say, St. John. Trouble with my computer today. Save it. And what I'm going to do now is once it's done, you get your code. So the next step is we're going to have to take this image and actually save it. So I'm going to right click on it. I go to H HTML output. I save it. I'm going to save it as the name that it's giving me here, wherever my images should be saved. So in my case, it's under my website folder under images. I'm going to save it right here. Then the next step is to go to my HTML code. I'm going to select everything that's here. I could, but notice how it says right here, it says image map text link start. If you do not want to have or wish to have text links under your image map, you can move or delete this div. So this is division here. I'm going to get rid of 
all of this stuff except for the last div. I need that last div there. So there we go. Get rid of that. Now I'll copy and paste. So where do I paste it to? I go into my index file. I can't just paste it right here as it is. What I need to do is I need to go to the source tab into the code, but I placed myself where I'd like it to show up and I'll move it around in a bit. But I'll go to source. This is a good spot for it. I'll paste it in. There it is. Let's see what happens. I'm going to save it. Oh, no, before I do that, whoops. It's still looking for that image that's on the website. So here where we have on the second line here, it says SRC, meaning source equals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the reference to that website, get rid of everything there except for the file name, which was that long numbered name. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it's looking for it in the, in the images folder. So I'm going to type in images with a slash and that will go one folder down. Now I'm going to save this and by saving it, it's showing up here in my normal. Of course, I can't preview it here the right way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, browser and I'll just open up another page here and I'll say file open. I'm going to look for that index file because it's actually my index file that changed. It's referencing the map and here's that index file and now when I click on Edmonston it's going to the right spot. Bathurst, the right spot. I'll remember that I forgot to uh, change Bathurst earlier on so now it's looking for it in image maps if you see down in the corner. So I'll have to fix this but Edmonston works, St. John works so I'll click on Edmonston just to prove it and I didn't set it up with targets or anything yet. But that's how you create an image map. You may have to watch this a couple times. Oh, I forgot to put a D here. See, I should have tested it. Edmonston. So this obviously, I'd have to go back and remap my image. I kind of have to repeat those steps again because I made a mistake. But now you should get the gist on how to fix this up.